World War II submarines played a crucial role in naval warfare, with some even achieving remarkable success in sinking enemy warships. Through their stealth, precision, and sheer determination, these submarines managed to tilt the balance of power on the high seas, leaving a lasting legacy as the war silent hunters. In today's video, we'll look at the top 7 submarines or U-boats that sank the most naval vessels in World War II. We will not include merchant ships on the list, but we'll do them separately soon. So let's get to it. At number 7, German submarine U-371. A Type 7 C U-boat of the Nazi Germany Kriegsmarine, mostly operated in the Mediterranean Sea. Over the course of 19 patrols conducted between June 1941 and May 1944, the U-boat successfully engaged in the sinking of 11 vessels, amounting to a combined tonnage of 51,946 gross-registered tons GRT, while inflicting damage upon six additional ships, with a total tonnage of 28,072 GRT. Notably, one of these casualties was the American destroyer USS Bristol. In terms of naval vessels alone, it accounted for the sinking of four. Regrettably, U-371 became an early victim of an Allied anti-submarine strategy in the Mediterranean Sea, known as Swamp, leading to its eventual demise. At number 6, the German submarine U-73. A Type 7B U-boat from the Kriegsmarine during the Nazi regime embarked on 15 patrols spanning from early 1941 to late 1943. During these deployments, U-73 successfully destroyed eight merchant vessels and four military warships. Additionally, it inflicted damage upon three more commercial ships. U-73 played a role in five different Wolfpack operations. Notably, on the 11th of August in 1942, it achieved the sinking of the aircraft carrier HMS Eagle as a part of Operation Pedestal. Furthermore, U-73 was responsible for the destruction of two patrol craft, the HMS ML-1003 and HMS ML-1037 along with one landing craft, the USS LCT-21, totaling four naval vessels sunk by the submarine. At number 5, the German submarine U-593. Belonging to the Type 7C U-boat class, it was constructed for the Kriegsmarine of Nazi Germany. U-593 undertook a total of 16 patrols, spanning from March 1942 to December 1943, during which it effectively sank 13 vessels, accumulating a combined tonnage of 38,290 gross registered tons and 2,954 tons. Initially, this submarine completed three missions in the Atlantic Ocean, operating from its home base in Germany and from the occupied French port of Saint-Nazaire, successfully sinking three ships. In March 1942, it briefly encountered British forces en route to the Saint-Nazaire raid. Subsequently, U-593 was redeployed to the Mediterranean in October and carried out an additional 13 patrols from various Mediterranean bases. During this period, it sank eight merchant ships and four naval vessels, and she was later sunk in December 1943. Notably, aside from the sinking of four warships, U-593 also caused damage to three naval vessels. At number four, German submarine U-24. She was a Type 2B U-boat that was in service with Nazi Germany's Kriegsmarine, which was commissioned in 1936. U-24 conducted a total of 19 missions spanning from 1939 to 1944, resulting in the sinking and damaging of numerous vessels. In addition to merchant ships, this U-boat successfully sank five naval vessels, amounting to a total tonnage of 573 tons. The naval targets included three patrol craft, two landing ships, and one fleet minesweeper. On the 25th of August in 1944, U-24 was intentionally scuttled along the Romanian Black Sea coastline as a measure to prevent its capture by advancing Soviet forces. At number 3, HMS Upholder, a U-class submarine of the Royal Navy held the distinction of being the most successful among all British submarines. During her tenure, 
she undertook a remarkable 25 war patrols, operating from a base with the 10th submarine flotilla in Malta. Upholders note where they record encompasses the sinking of 93,031 tons of enemy shipping, including five warships. This included the Mastral class destroyer Lubeccio, following the Battle of Duisburg convoy, two submarines, the Trecheco and Amiraglio St. Bon, as well as two auxiliary minesweepers. Furthermore, she effectively targeted 10 merchant vessels, which comprised three troop ships, six cargo ships, and an auxiliary transport. In addition to sinking five adversary warships, it is worth noting that Upholder also inflicted damage upon the Italian cruiser Giuseppe Garibaldi on the 28th of July in 1941. At number two, the USS Tang SS-306. She had several significant engagements during its service. On the 14th of August in 1944, Tang successfully downed a Japanese patrol yacht. Just eight days later, it managed to sink a 225-foot patrol boat. However, the most remarkable feat occurred on the 23rd of August when Tang encountered a sizable enemy vessel, clearly marked with Japanese personnel in white uniforms, visible on its superstructure and bridge. In this encounter, Tang launched three torpedoes, scoring hits with two of them. A noteworthy event unfolded on the 23rd and 24th of October when Tang identified a substantial Leyte-bound convoy, three tankers, a transport ship, a freighter, and a multitude of escort ships. Tang boldly infiltrated the formation and launched a barrage on torpedoes, resulting in several targets either being set ablaze or sinking. In focusing solely on escort vessels and patrol boats, omitting cargo and merchant ships, Tang successfully sank a total of six such vessels. At number one, U-221. A Type 7C U-boat of Nazi Germany's Kriegsmarine served as a prominent workhorse within the German U-boat fleet. Commissioned on the 9th of May in 1942, the submarine conducted five patrols, commencing on the 22nd of October 1942 and concluding on the 27th of September 1943. U-221 was an active participant in 12 Wolfpack operations, contributing to the sinking of a cumulative total of 21 vessels, amounting to 69,589 gross registered tons GRT, across these five patrols. Counting just military ships on the 14th of October in 1942, U-221 achieved the remarkable feat of sinking all 10 landing craft mechanized vessels of the Royal Navy, which collectively had a total tonnage of 759 tons. One notable mention is the I-19, a Japanese Type B-1 submarine that inflicted significant damage and destruction upon enemy ships during World War II while serving in the Imperial Japanese Navy. In the context of the Guadalcanal campaign, the I-19 launched a salvo of six torpedoes, of which three found their mark on the carrier WASP CV-7, causing severe damage that ultimately led to her scuttling several hours later. A fourth torpedo from this attack struck the destroyer O'Brien DD-415 on its port bow, though it did not immediately sink. However, O'Brien sunk later in 19th October 1942 en route for repairs. A fifth torpedo from the I-19 found its target in the battleship North Carolina BB-55 on her port bow. She was badly damaged, with a tally of six torpedoes fired and five successful hits. This attack by the I-19 stands as one of the most successful torpedo strikes on record. And this is it for today. Don't forget to hit that notification and subscription button for more videos from the buzz. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.